And like a lot of people, I don't have a huge bit of nostalgia for the Ghostbusters franchise. Never have. Probably never will. And that's because I don't think I've seen Ghostbusters since I was single digits. And I have a more... I have more strong feelings and remembrances of, well, the sequel. Sorry, it is. I'm watching this movie and I remember some things, probably because they're just so iconic and they've been around for so long, that mostly I didn't remember the entire movie. And yeah, there we are. So here we go. It's directed by Ivan Reitman. It's written by Dan Aykroyd and Hal Ramis. We've got Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Sigourney River, Hal Ramis, Rick Moranis, and Ernie Hudson in this. And it's a 1984 supernatural comedy kind of action movie. More comedy. And, I don't know, do I need to give you the gist? It's a bunch of scientists who get kicked out of the university for being kooks. And they start uh, hunting ghosts. So yeah. It's generally the gist of the Ghostbusters, and uh, they, they're getting all these nobody ghosts and all that kind of stuff. Meanwhile, Sigourney Weaver's gone through hell, because, like, some real bad shit is coming up. And, uh, yeah. So, well, this movie does a lot of things right. It's one hour and 45 minutes. And uh, I jokingly said to myself, I bet you the new one's over two hours. I don't know yet. That's just my guess. Anyway, just one hour and 45, never overstays its welcome, and it also manages to fit in a lot in its, in its relatively comfortable, for me, runtime. Builds up the characters and their motivations and their personalities quite well. I always kind of knew what, uh, what, all, what everyone was feeling and going through at that particular moment. And it does this really well. We don't even have flashbacks or anything like that. None of that bullshit. Everything's just kind of laid out for you in this really simple, easy-to-follow manner. The story's not too convoluted either, which is another thing that I really appreciated this, about this movie. It's hilarious. It'll make you laugh. But, uh, but the story is simple. You know, so if you make a simple, simple-ish enough story to frame everything else around, you can put enough detail and stuff into all of this to kind of make everything kind of pop. And that's what everything does in Ghostbusters. It just pops. I'm watching this. I've got no skin in the game. I've got no nostalgia goggles for Ghostbusters or anything like that. And I'm sitting there with my wife going, I wonder if this movie will be any good. It's pretty fucking good. And it held this level of really good for such a long time. And by the end of the movie, they never lost it. And for a movie to do that, like just to just to just to give you this really high standard of of, uh, of 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 what it's doing for such a long time, I don't know. I just kind of love that. This movie's not perfect though. Some of the effects are a little dated and they don't work as well anymore. And there's just one thing I just want to bring up. This no way impacts the score. But one thing I want to bring up is like. I, I, I assumed this was a family movie or something, but man, everyone smokes in this movie. Everyone smokes this movie. We're having a conversation. Here's a smoke. Do you want a smoke? Yeah, I'll have a smoke. Give me a smoke. And then there's sight gags with the sea slimer and stuff, and Dan Aykroyd's so just like, with, you know, the, the smoke hanging from his mouth like that. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, did they really, did they, need, did they need to get funding from cigarette companies or something? Like, what's all this, what's all the smoking going on in there? Anyway, apart from that weirdness, it just, it felt like as time goes on, that kind of stuff feels a little bit more archaic, especially in a kind of what you think is a family movie. If it's in an old noir movie, you kind of expect it and it adds to the atmosphere and stuff. And this one, you're just like, you didn't really need it. Could have done without. Hmm. But Ghostbusters is a really strong movie. It opens strong. It ends strong. There's a few things that aren't perfect, that, 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 that's just, over time, that's just what happens. Uh, things get all dated and old, it's, it's fine. But this is an 8 out of 10, it's a really good movie. It's not long, and I'm not telling you this is a really good movie, you'd probably be like, I, I know this movie off by heart, Luke, what are you talking about? I'm just here to see you give it a decent score, otherwise I'm going to fucking kill you. Well, there you go, it's a good movie. 
I have stronger, I have stronger memories of the second one. Probably because I was two when this movie came out. And uh, I was a little older when the second one came out. Anyway, more number two. We were talking about number two, if we're talking about number two. If you haven't seen Ghostbusters, watch it, it's pretty good.